How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf. And uh, today I've finally been able to uh, check out this map. Is it a uh, Burning Mill? I keep wanting to call it Burning Hill <laughs> for some reason, but I believe it's Burning Mill. Um, yeah, this is like the setup I created in the end. <laughs> it's probably a little surprise to most people. Uh, got a Zix 605R, double loaf. I only needed OG loaf, but the other loaf is like race spec loaf, just in case. I had heard there was a racetrack on here somewhere. So we had a we had a race loaf just in case, and then I had a, a Land Rover Defender behind me just because it was new. So, looking at the map, had the uh, genius idea. I don't know why I've never done it before. <laughs> where I was like, oh yeah, I could draw a line just around the edge of the map so you can get an idea of how big it is. That's what she said. Um, and then obviously I've drawn like a line. I'm gonna go. I just figured I'd head to that tower first, then that one, and then that one, and then that one. I mean, other than I could have gone the other way around I suppose I just that's the way uh, I chose just when I was looking around the map it just felt like the bottom uh, watchtower was the closest to me so I just kind of figured I'd spiral out from there it all sort of made sense um, for this first bit I don't know if I really needed to do it or not but it was, it was just a little excuse to drive this uh, Land Rover Defender as well I'm just gonna go around to the back of the garage just to show you this main area because I'm about to just fly straight out the bottom of this whole garage bit uh, so obviously the other side is where you could drive into the garage. Here is a mission, is it called like the Gore B4 or by 4 I can't, I can't see it because it shrinks the screen at the minute. Um, yeah, I'm just going to call it, I don't know, <laughs> Some, something else, call it Gorbachev. Um, or what was his name, Gorbachev, Gorbachev, I don't know. It says it, uh, you've got to collect like this new car that they've added. Uh, I just clicked on the map, you've seen it kind of scroll near to the top of the map with the way uh, the way I've got my map orientated, it's I believe north is north and so on. Um, yeah, uh, long story short, no more no now. As I went round, I pretty much passed where the car was, so I did collect it. Uh, there's a trailer store there, so you can get all that sort of stuff. And I didn't even realise until like now when I was getting the footage, so a few hours ago, uh, or probably a little more, um, just where I was kind of looking with the camera, that's where all the racetrack and everything is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set off, and uh, I was quite happy just to take me loose in the Zix. Again, I kind of just winched the Defender and thought I'd bring it along for the uh, the hell of it. It was probably quite handy. I quite like this way of uh, doing the watchtowers. I don't necessarily know if uh, ha like how much of a difference it makes because I'm going to make a video on it <laughs> but either way I like taking loaves I'm pretty certain if I was even if I wasn't making a video I'd be driving around like this kind of setup anyway but the point being I'm kind of driving around in a main little pod at the minute and then I can like send defenders and loafs off just because they don't always put a watchtower like on the actual road there might be one last little awkward like step or little gap through the trees you got to get through so yeah just having like little detachable loafs that can just go flying off here, there and everywhere has uh, always been a <laughs> pretty successful uh, situation. So again this watchtower, uh, watchtower what am I on about, this racetrack, this is what I'm on now I I, ha I haven't seen any of the missions um, just as I clicked on that mission to get the new car obviously that's, I've seen that, I've not seen anything on YouTube because I've not been on it for eight odd weeks or whatever it was um, normally, I mean I don't really well, don't ever look at like any videos or anything before I get the new maps because I want my own first impression of the map. But sometimes, or most of the time, I'll usually see either SD11 or TC Gaming like a thumbnail. It'll just be on my YouTube feed. I don't click on the video. But I, I haven't even seen that. I couldn't have even told you the day or two ago if it was going to be snowy or whatever. I, c I remember things people saying from like, I suppose, months ago now. I remember hearing about there was supposed to be a racetrack, but yeah, at this point, you guys probably know more than me because, as well, this. Uh, what is it today? 4th of June. <laughs> 4th of June. It was 19. Is it 19? 19 years ago today. I think I got punched in the face. <laughs> got my cheek broken in four places. Um, yeah. When did this game came out? come out? I don't know. But anyway, I assume I'm like four or five days late or whatever it is. So, yeah, you guys probably know more than me. 
at this point. Um, you can see though, when I got to the racetrack, I mean, I could theoretically, I don't think it would have been an issue bumping the Zix 605R up there, but as you can see, it's just to have a little vehicle that you can send off just makes life a lot easier. I cut that bit out because I got beached on a rock only for about a minute or two. Uh, mostly unluckiness, but also, yeah, <laughs> not ideal. I mean, uh, Rockman, he definitely hasn't had internet issues. There's rocks all over the bloody place on this map, so... Overall, though, I will say first impressions and stuff, I uh, I do, I like the map. This reminded me, um, this little bit of, when I was on Mudrunner, obviously years and years ago, the last map, was it called Flooded or Deluge? I think it was Flooded on the version of the game I got. I believe it was the same map that used to be called Deluge on before the companies had a falling out or something like that. I had to cross a big river, it was to get one star on the last map, so I used a Hummer. And everywhere I think was too deep, so I just kind of drove the Hummer into the water, drowned it, but let the current slowly drag me right across the map, but I was slowly going forward because there was like a slight bend in the river. And uh, yeah, it took bloody ages, but I got to the other side, auto-winched myself for miles. I mean, it took hours. I don't know how else you're supposed to get one star on that map, but yeah, just sending a, sending a little... Uh, off-roader into the water to drown, that was uh, bringing back some nostalgic memories. So as you can see, yeah, first watchtower just kind of plopped in the middle of nowhere really. This whole corner of the map appears to just be some kind of crazy boggy marsh. I'll be honest, at this point, I did send the defender, I was going to try and drive off into, as we're looking at it now, the bottom left corner, because the watchtower didn't quite light up everything over there. Uh, this is why I cut ahead a little bit, but I've seen abandoned mission, it's just yeah, I was like, I'm not going this bloody slow the whole way there. It's just, it's killing it a bit like, not just this map, it's the game. <laughs> they tend to do it. Scouts in mud like that, You just, it's regardless of speed, it is just horrifically not fun. So, yeah, I was just like, no, I'm not even doing it. Because it's not even fair to the Land Rover. I, I like that Land Rover. I certainly like the look of it. So, I want to like it. I want it to be a good vehicle. And I don't want to kind of taint my <laughs> my memory of it so far by driving it through that bloody slow crappy mud. Um, yeah, so like I said, I kind of abandoned the Land Rover. As far as I can tell, though, I was looking around on the camera. There doesn't appear to be anything in that corner. There could be one of the vehicle, the new vehicles, but I just mean as in there doesn't seem to be like some settlement or villages or buildings or whatever. It just seems to be like a boggy marsh kind of going on in that whole section so yeah I'll just kind of leave it there for now I mean it's one of them really there's a this is the thing with this game when they release new um, seasons it's like there's kind of 20 videos that I want to make in one day and then obviously they end inevitably take bloody ages to get the uh, the next phase out and it's sort of then I run out of videos to uh, do, but yeah, every time a new season comes out, it's like I, there's so many <laughs> things that I want to get out there so people can watch and know how to do certain things. But um, yeah, to a degree, I may as well kind of just pace myself because God only knows when a uh, season eight is going to be coming out. But there's only one map, and again, it looks like a very good map. The racing, possibly. I've not even tried racing or anything, I don't know if I'll enjoy it or not. I should imagine, in theory, I will. Like, I certainly... Yeah, I like racing in general anyway, so... But we'll see, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm just behind on this game, kind of, even going on it tonight. Again, though, it's funny how many things just suddenly... <laughs> like, I couldn't tell you what button to press, but just when the situation occurs... Like, off the top of my head, if you just asked me really quickly, what button do you press for the winch. I'd have been like, I don't know, but at some point I must have tipped and just panic fired a winch out and hit a triangle. So yeah, it's uh, it's all pretty good. Sort of getting back to back to normal. A few things I have kind of noticed though, because I suppose inevitably, because uh, I haven't even been on the game for... I don't know, um, was it Rebel by Choice? I'm sure he said in the comments it's was it nine weeks since my last live stream? So it was probably a week after that, because then it was like, I'll say four or five days after that, because it was the day or two building up to like what would have then been the next live stream. So yeah, about eight weeks. 
um, this Zix 605 R, um, there was a couple of times when I was like accelerating and stuff, it, I don't know, but it feels like they might have dialed it back a little bit, there was a couple of times they even started doing the stalling thing, which this very rarely does. And then also it wasn't too happy about going up the gears or anything like that. Apologies, that's my phone if I just put the thing on silent, always manages to make noises. I think if you can hear it as well, the charger cable still being a twat. I've got it duct taped onto the phone now, so I have a permanent cable dangling off my phone, but it's still not really... Well, that's one nice thing, that was probably one of the few things about not being on the internet, or not as near as makes no difference for eight weeks, was um, my phone that was constantly, or the charger cable, constantly moaning. At least that's a... Uh, that wasn't an issue, and then now, <laughs> now I can get internet again. It's been driving me insane for the last couple of days, just constantly going meep, 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 beeping all the time because the it's a new charger cable. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. I'd, like I said, at some point I just like to get a new phone because it will actually drive me insane. Loaf's got done professional. See, he knows clearance distances. It's close. And again, like say the map. Um, looks wise and all that, so it definitely looks like a cool map. I'll sort of enjoy because I've not been able to play this game for so long. I'll, uh, I'll, to be honest, I'd just enjoy playing the game again, even if I didn't have a new map at this point. It was just nice to be able to turn the bloody thing on. That's what she said. But I am glad, I suppose, overall. It's not that I dislike the snowy maps, a lot of them certainly look very nice and all the rest of it, but I'm assuming in the time I've been gone, it's not. Uh, they've not <laughs> changed the snow in any significant way. Where it's just like OP super snow all the time. So, uh, yeah, in that sense, I'd probably rather climb around kind of muddy mountains like this. And this, again, you can sort of see when you arrive at watchtowers, they're normally fairly close to a road, but they're rarely, if ever, um, like, kind of accessible. Luckily, when I looked on the map, you can sort of see if I drive up the river a little bit, it kind of loops around at the top, and it was just a better, easier way. Obviously, I've just edited bits out to make this a bit quicker. Uh, what? I'm saying the video is about nearly 49 minutes long, so that's probably not crazy for an exploration video. Had a few, like, hiccups going on as well. My computer, it does. It, it doesn't do it very often, but I went to go and save the footage, like, it's a little bit later on on one of the other watchtowers. When you press the share button, it brings up, like, the menu so you can select save video. But the the bit where it lets you click it, it's, like, faded at first. You have to wait a few seconds for it to highlight as if, like, so you can actually click it. And uh, every now and then it just won't highlight and won't let you click the video. So I lost, like, I suppose 15-odd minutes of me driving so then I had to go like double back on myself and get the footage again. It's not really made any difference as such, you'll see what nearer when I get there, but time wise it was a bit of a pain in the ass. Also uh, the fuel of the vehicle, I was just curious to see how much fuel I'd use on the way around, but that kind of threw a bit of a spanner in the works. Um, yeah, so drove around to the top, I that was one of those times where, like I say, most of the time it's easier to deploy like a little scout vehicle, but Driving the Zix round wasn't even a any real issue there. Again, the watchtowers overall don't seem to uncover a large part of the map. Not that I really care either way, to be honest. I suppose in hindsight, if you really wanted to, I could have um, towed a loaf behind me with a radar trailer and then just, you know, also radared the map here and there. But again, I suppose, yeah, with the fact that it's, it's like this content's got to last God knows how long. There's probably no major uh, rush to kind of get every little square inch of the map uncovered tonight and that. Yeah, there's a couple of times I didn't really do it there, which it was looking alright. It's not terrible, it was just there was a few times where the revs died on me that I kind of... I don't... I could, just sort of say I can't remember. I, don't, I sort of... You have a feel for different vehicles. I don't... Kinda, it felt like the uh, Zix was doing it more than it 
possibly used to. Again though, if they've incorporated kind of a racing aspect into this, they may have fiddled with certain uh, characteristics of the game to account for that. And as for the two vehicles, I've, I mean I've got that little car thing now because I kind of do that in this video as I'm going around so that was kind of a two for one. Here I was just looking, obviously you can see instead of sort of going that way and nearly doubling back on myself I'm just going to kind of cut across the, uh, the landscape a little bit. Um, yeah, the other vehicle, well I won't mention it, right near the end I think my camera will scroll over near where it is. I didn't find it until right at the end of the night and I wasn't even trying to find it. For what it's worth, it could potentially be mistaken for a building, because it's quite a square looking truck, so it looks just quite like a fat rectangle. On the map you don't really see like a cab as such. Um, yeah, I found it, I drove to it, there was no yellow square there saying, uh, you know, that you have to drive into and it says vehicle discovered, I touched the vehicle, I winched the vehicle, I drove right up next to it with a dolphin it, nothing came up saying vehicle discovered or anything like that and then when I looked in the um, truck store the car now it, it's a bit odd because they're both Russian vehicles but we've only got an American map so then when you go to the store it won't let you buy them because you're on an American map but the, the little car now just says uh, I can't buy it in America or USA whatever it says um, but the other one still says explore the world to discover or something like that and then it also says uh, yeah you're in the USA or whatever so yeah you can't the vehicle Voron Grad just sitting around it didn't it's not discovered it or anything like it's mine don't know if we'll ever get to keep that it might be one of them where you tow it to a destination well, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it'll be that, but once you get there, I don't know if it'll just vanish off the map. Most likely, but it's not the end of the world. I've certainly got uh, used to just skimming <laughs> past the vehicle to tip it up right. I think I did it earlier as well on the racetrack. There was a little uh, CK1500, I believe it was, that if you just kind of clip them at the right angle, it uh, flips them over. I can say that as well. It was one thing they've certainly not done anything to as far as I could tell was you know the amount of grip or probably lack of grip that you get on rocks like this yeah rocks were still a bit awkward but again the, the Zik 605R is a pretty solid vehicle for doing these explorations it's got a pretty decent amount of fuel it's very good for not tipping it's also got a roof rack you can also fit a goddamn horse or a vehicle on that roof rack and then another one in the sideboard and it's pretty easily got enough oomph to tow another one behind if you really wanted. And um, yeah, the loaf I've got like in the sideboard on this, obviously like I said, he's sort of race spec loaf. <laughs> so streamlined, he's bold, he's not got his uh, roof rack or anything on. But yeah, in theory I would recommend roof rack the crap out of everything. There was a little bug yesterday as well. Um, I didn't really leave it in the video in the end because I think just the video was already 20 something minutes I think it was and I didn't even plan, I was more thinking like it was just a 10 minute video um, was it? I, I was in the loaf, I recovered it, I think I was on factory grounds, recovered it to the garage and it just auto unequipped the roof rack, it was just when I was in the garage I didn't have the roof rack on or something like that and then I just went you know, into the menu and selected it and that was it. But I, I was just mentioning it. I did see somebody, I think, posted a comment. I'll try and reply to some after this. I've been running a bit behind even recording this because, like I said, I lost the footage. So I'm kind of a little bit, uh, half an hour, an hour behind where I'd, uh, I'd want to be. But yeah, somebody said something about, um, I think the game has been buggy since they've updated it. Obviously, this was just... I think hours after I'd just downloaded and done the game and when I was reading that I was like oh no please don't be another glitchy like it's basically the last well, I'm pretty certain it is not for my internet issue but the game constantly blue screening me and then even the PlayStation blue screening me before I could even click on SnowRunner I believe was um, 
that update 1.29, ever since I updated that, which that must have been about nine weeks ago, yeah, there was just issues, I couldn't go on the game, that's when I got that crocodile. Um, anyway, sorry, uh, got to the next watchtower, again, it doesn't uncover a hell of a lot, but, and this is the point where it glitches, so you could see, I was at that watchtower, now it skips ahead. So I've now cut back to where I just was at that watchtower. So the only difference is, there's a little bit more of the map uncovered, a tiny bit. Well, obviously, there's the bit where I've already drove there, but... I'll explain it'll make sense in a minute. So I just drove to that point where you can see that um, yellow diamond. That's basically where I got. I tried to save the footage and then it just wouldn't highlight. Press square to save video or whatever the hell it comes up with. Um, yeah, so I had to drive back here. And the only reason why it, the bit of map I've discovered is a bit wider is there's two main paths. And obviously the way I'm going now is the way I went the first time, but when I came back to get here so I can recapture the footage, I drove the other way. For no apparent reason, I was just like, sod it, if the game's... Well, it's not really the game's fault in this case, I'd say, strictly speaking, that uh, it's more the PS4 itself, not really the game. Uh, yeah, I just thought, well, it's going to make me double back though, I may as well just at least drive a slightly different way. As you can see though, as you're going around most of the track as well, there's all these like little advertising boards and all that, so even though there seems to be like a specific race track that was kind of just south of the uh, the garage, the whole map in general, most roads you're on appear to be some kind of off-road event track. Like, as far as missions go or anything, I have no idea. Um, I look well. I didn't click on any, but the uh, what they called is it the missions or the tasks or whatever. When you <laughs> I can't even remember the name of them. When you go into the menu and click across to the middle lot, uh, there was I don't know six, seven on the first one. I think five or six on the second one, and to say five or six on the third one. So, but they were I didn't click on any. Didn't read what any of them can do. This little section here, did I collect it that time? I think I might have. It's a mission, on the map it's got like a spanner and a whatever, sort of like a cross. I thought it might be one of those service stations, but you can see I've got a little bit of damage on my uh, engine. And it didn't fix that when I went through it. And I collected it as a mission, so maybe like one of those vehicles, that Voron Grad for example, it could be that, that uh, you got to like recover to that part of the map or something. I had to buy some more loafs as well today just to be safe. I was near I thought I could go on some other maps and gather some loafs, but I didn't really want to. I like to leave loafs <laughs> well I like to leave everything where it is. One convenience, but two. It kinda reminds me where I've been and what I've been up to and what I've done and haven't done. Because I can kind of trace back via like loaf breadcrumbs, you see. Makes sense, he's a loaf. So it's little breadcrumbs to know what I've been up to. I think I've got a new Zix as well. Well, this, yeah, probably this one is a new Zix. Paint, that's why it's painted orange, just because I thought if I'm driving around, <laughs> no point in painting it. Camouflage. It's kind of pretty harsh. Make a video <laughs> and then make the thing that everyone's trying to look at blend in as far as possible. See, that's how, that's how you'd get paranoia. People say drugs and stuff, but... Imagine throwing a fancy dress party and the theme is camouflage and then the night the party happens you wouldn't even know like has anybody turned up? Did everybody turn up? Was it successful? Why did the shed just wave at me? You wouldn't know whether t there's anybody to tell to go home. Be paranoid. We're walking around like scared I'm gonna bump into my own lamp. It'd be like, fucking hell, Gary, is that you? You were 30 when I invited you, what the fuck happened? So yeah, that's lesson of the day. Don't ever throw a, f <laughs> a camouflage fancy dress party. The consequences could be horrific. 
was a bit um certainly not annoyed but when I was driving at this point obviously yeah I'd already drove this way the only part of it that more annoyed me when I lost the footage was I discovered that little car and I can't remember a hundred percent but I assume when I found it it would have brought a little message upon the screen saying you know vehicle discovered or whatever it's all that so I put the vehicle back exactly where it was so like I said the footage is all the same I possibly if I didn't even mention it could have snuck it through <laughs> without even noticing but it was just yeah it's a pain in Again, it does it extremely rarely by comparison. It's probably, considering how many times I save videos, you're probably talking like 1 in 300 to 1 in 500 times. But one of the times I can definitely remember that it did it to me, it was probably on one of the last Call of Duty videos I made with the knife in videos. That's why I saved the footage here, because I was panicking. So I saved it halfway. I got way further the first time. And when I'm there and I saved the footage, it almost, it didn't highlight the thing that it let me click for a good minute. I was panicking like, oh no, it might do it again, like lightning strikes twice and then I'm going to have to go back and get the, try and get the footage again for the third time. Which other than the time, it was also, as I said, the, uh, the fuel. Sort of not the best time to be making a, a race spec loaf. I needed that... Uh, <laughs> it would have been nice to have a loaf refract. That is not nothing to do with me. I know it's rare, but despite what it might look like, I've not been here with a trailer. There didn't didn't appear to be any like mission square around it or anything like that. I don't know what the deal is. Like, because I've not really been on anything for the last eight weeks. Like, I didn't know. I heard something about the racetrack, but I didn't know if it was going to be one or two. Uh, new maps I don't really know anything about anything I, I, somebody said in the comments was it that something to do with the PS5 and whatever the Xbox equivalent is I'm not sure what it is these days is it the 360 or the Xbox One god knows so am I, am, am I right in assuming that what they've spent the majority of their time doing in the last X amount of months is getting the game to work on the PS5, you know, the next generation of consoles. Because considering it feels like a particularly long time since we got season six, and again, everything I've been on here, I do like the feel of the map and all the rest of it, so I'm certainly not disappointed with what I've experienced with it so far, but I don't know. It seems, you know, a little bit like when we got season 5, it was kind of a little bit last minute compared to, it's fair to say, compared to the first four seasons, which they'd obviously planned like a year in advance. Um, yeah, if this is the only map and there's not an absolute mountain of uh, missions and... Is it tasks? I can't remember. The contracts, that's it. Contracts, yeah. Then uh, I assume that's what they spent the majority of their time doing. There's another trailer as well. Again, that wasn't me <laughs> for once. And at this point, I, uh, I've used the fuel off the roof of my Zix. So normally, I believe, if I remember correctly, when I was at this factory that I'm about to get to in a minute, I believe I had about 87 litres of fuel left. And I had a full roof rack, full loaf roof rack, both loafs full of fuel. Um, I think I used my Zix roof rack to get back to... Uh, the watchtower so I can re-get really the footage and then when I get here now I'm, I think I edited it out but I end up putting the 120 litres off the loaf into the Zix and then possibly the 80 litres out of the race spec loaf into the Zix as well so this was exactly the same as it happened the first time when I was driving in here the only difference is about now it said vehicle discovered whereas I already knew because I was getting the footage for the second time just swing around here and reverse in here because that's exactly where the car is uh, yeah so I was just reversing in to stick the winch on it and you basically got to return it to that box that was at the garage like at the beginning of the video when I just did a quick lap of like the garage area with the uh, Land Rover Defender so that's where it wants it me to deliver it to so it was now when I originally tried to save the footage and it glitched 
so that's where I was with 87 litres and I'd use no other fuel um, yeah so I've just drove all this way it was the longest bit as well if it had glitched one of the other videos it wouldn't have been uh, the other parts it wouldn't have been as long but yeah that was definitely pretty long that one <laughs> yeah that's what she said of course um, yeah so at this point I mean, I've got one watchtower left to go and then pretty much I drew an extra dot but essentially once I get to the last watchtower I'm just planning on kind of heading uh, back to the garage so yeah, grab the car. It doesn't really make any difference at this point. I've uh, already used the Defender anyway, so I wasn't winching anything else. And to be fair, it doesn't really appear that the car makes a lot of difference. As for the car, by the way, I don't know how useful it's going to be on various portions of this map and other maps, because anything that's like this boggy, yeah, just the boggy, sloppy mud, just it's like a pre determined set of characteristics for the scouts that it, uh, other than the I would say the Tatrin, the Tatrin is like its own little, I only think they put the Tatrin in scouts because it made more sense how they can like cut, block it from having trailers and all sorts and they can give it an autonomous winch but yeah everything else doesn't, like, that's just got its own set of tyres and grip rules and all sorts um, but yeah, the car itself, it looks pretty cool. I certainly like the look of it. I like old stuff like that. I know it's not a Fiat 500, but it kind of reminds me of that kind of, uh, yeah, just an old little snotter to go rallying around in. It uh, looks pretty cool. And it can have the same engine as the Loaf, uh, so you can have that new one. Is it Custom or, <laughs> or Crustum or something? Whatever the name is of the top engine for the Loaf. Uh, the wheels, I believe, are 31 inch wheels. Pretty tiny, but they at least they the truck's pretty small. That Land Rover, dif uh, the Land Rover, the new looking one, it wasn't a bad vehicle by any means. I just, as soon as I seen it, I couldn't get over how the tyres just do not suit the vehicle at all. They look far too tiny. So at this point, on the map, it kind of looks like it splits three ways. It sort of does, but yeah, essentially just drive down the middle. God knows what I got stuck on there, a mole hill or something. See what I mean? That's probably a good example of like... You can hear the lack of revs. And again, I think it's just the way they do the maps these days. I, th I think there's areas of the map, certainly specifically the roads, but it might extend further afield than that, where the characteristics of that part of the map are determined by some preset characteristics. It's not that you know, oh you've just entered on a bit of a funny angle and you haven't got much grip. It's like when you get to a certain section of terrain it's already predetermined that how a vehicle is going to react in it. That sort of seems to be part at least how they're getting some of their balance and done. It's easy. Again even now I'm not going mad about it or anything. It was just my impressions of driving the Zix after not being able to drive any vehicle for uh, weeks and weeks so it's like yeah it just my first impressions I, I sort of remember the Zix would have got its foot down a little bit more up here I was also clicking you can tell from the bottom corner clicking L1 to try and get it to jump up into second gear and it won't let it do that and it was probably about a year or ago now or more but you used to be able to click L1 and it would jump into second a lot easier. I believe they've artificially fiddled with that to again just keep trying to force us that going into low range, high low, like high low will give you a fair amount of revs compared to what you often get left with like if it forces you to stay in first gear and all the rest of it. Like it forces you to stay in first but it won't rev to the high end in first so you're not really gaining any advantage of a low gear at that point. And then at some point along here, it's just again, like, this was my first time driving out of this footage, thankfully all saved and worked after that middle bit, so. Um, yeah, this is literally the one and only time, other than that section I had to double back on, uh, that I've seen any of this map or done anything. I'm really, I'd like to get that new truck sooner rather than later, because I'm kind of curious 
how they'll allow that to handle on various terrains. But again, I mean, I suppose the good thing is, um, now there is a new season, uh, they've added, yeah, this little car and this new, I believe it's an Azov truck, but a truck similarish size, I suppose, to this Zix, probably a bit narrower than that, more like the Dolphin. Um, and then there's the two Land Rovers, and I've still got to do a review. I know it's gone past the point now, but I'd still like to do it because I never got the chance, was uh, the Crocodile review. So that's, yeah, five vehicles to do a review on, so I won't get them obviously done overnight, but I quite like doing the review videos, so. It's a pretty good excuse just to get a vehicle and go flying around all night, and <laughs> not really having to, like, yeah, it's just flying around, that's the point of the footage I'm trying to get. There's not really anything to do or whatever. I have my little path that I follow, but other than that, it's essentially hours of messing around that I then wing it into looking like I was purposefully <laughs> doing things. Um, yeah, crossing this river, just notice that you can see the watchtower there. I was just trying to look on the map if there is any little roads looping around. But a squeeze, you could probably risk driving the Zix up some certain way, but again, my method of just having detachable loafs everywhere seems to uh, be working pretty nicely, so got no plans to adjust. So if I swerved off now, harsh right, I possibly could get up that way. But again, this is the thing, like, this is my own situation. I could jump OG loaf off the roof, but I get oddly sentimental about him being on the roof, <laughs> so I didn't want to get him off. So I sent race spec loaf. I will give a benefit of the doubt based on the no roof rack, which I rarely drive, but at this point, it's like, have they fiddled with the loaf? Normally, he would tip back. I don't know if I'm nudging on the back of the uh, sideboard. Regardless, loaf's got them professional. He obviously came prepared. And he got himself out with a winch. But it's not the point. Like, the loaf tips back to its wheels in that situation. So, unless it was just leaning on the sideboard a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll have to inspect that further. And this little bit, I could have cut it out, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I was having a good old time in my life. For anybody, if there's still any naysayers that doubt the goddamn horse of a vehicle, you try getting any other vehicle up here. Not attached with a winch or anything, that's just loaf magic. Loaf gymnastics. See, this rock is probably not far off the height of him. And we're away. Job's a good one. Life's goddamn professional. <laughs> Case closed. And uh, yeah, there's another one in the bag. Earlier on, I've seen some of them hot air balloons in the air, and again, because I've not seen any pictures or sod all, had 0, 0.0 idea there was going to be hot air balloons or anything. It was at night, and they were lined up. Like It was just when I was on the at the garage where I built my little uh, Zix and Loaf contraption at the start. And there was three hot air balloons in the air. I honestly, for about five seconds, thought they were planets in the sky. And then it just suddenly hit me like, hang on a minute, it's SnowRunner. Why the hell would they have other planets? And then, yeah, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> what a dumbass. The hot air balloons, not planets. So, I could have just gone back to the Zix, but my loaf, he is a goddamn professional. He sniffed out an upgrade. I couldn't stop him, so. I didn't even, like, I looked on the map, but when I turned my loaf around, I swear to God, I think I might have edited it out. He was pointing towards the upgrade, like a compass. Just that's how good he is at sniffing things out. With an absolute, like, less than one degree of accuracy, he was pointing at it like a, a bloodhound loaf. And again, I suppose this bit, technically speaking, I certainly could have just gone round to the right or left. This is just me kind of forgetting that I was recording. Or not forgetting that I was recording, but I, this is the stuff I can normally edit it out. But since it's been a while since I've even uh, done any editing and all the rest of it. Yeah. This is why I get sidetracked, because I'm stubborn when I'm in my life. And I believe in him. 
I reckon you can get up this rock. I actually believe, given long enough, I probably could have done it without a winch, but I'm not going to lie. I was like, yeah, winch. I believe in you, loaf. You can do it. Job's a good one. There we go. He smelt out that uh, upgrade. At this point, I didn't say it out loud, but I shouted freedom in my head as it jumped off. I don't know if that's Braveheart related. I have no idea. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> letting you know what happened. I shouted freedom in my head. And he landed it, of course, because again, he's got that professional. We've got some kind of engine. It says some kind of Azov Summit, Summit Sprinter, I believe it said. Um, I'm assuming that's the other vehicle. So it's some kind of engine called Sam. I noticed as well at this point, you remember the sky went a really odd colour for me um, a while back on Lowlands. It, the sky had gone a weird colour now, but it not as weird. So I just kind of edit, edited it out. I don't know why. I, <laughs> every time I go to say edited. Um, yeah, you can see a bit of purple and blue going on with the sky, but when I eventually figured out how to go into photo mode again, because I forgot how to do all that, so I spent about 10 minutes trying to look for... On the main menu, press square. I was looking in content library in... What's the thing it's called? Somebody accused me of hacking because of it. Codex. I was looking everywhere, and then right at the last minute, I was like, oh my god, press square to uh, yeah, into photo mode. I looked at the sky, it was as purple and blue as you can see it now. Nothing got any more exciting. Um, again, the loaf didn't even have to look on the map, just sniffed it out. His little loaf senses were screaming. He knew there was a truck nearby that was flipped, so I sent him in. Is this a Voron grad again? I didn't even really look, to be honest. I don't recognise the paint, unless the added it this time. That's the point. Have they added any, like, new, uh, what are they called, contracts for any of the seasons? I'll have to look at that as well. Is it Vorongrad? I believe it is. So anyway, Lowe's goddamn professional. Didn't really need to re-establish it, but it did anyway, because he's a beast. That's, that's his nature to do so. Um, yeah, well, that's basically all the watchtowers done now, so I was like, I've just got to head back to the garage. Grab the little new car. Oh, panic for a second. Good job the uh, loaf's got good posture. I forgot to repack him. That was just pure loaf balance and skill then. And yeah, at this point I'm just kind of flying down a mountain. I don't really like... I played Age of Empire. I said yesterday a few weeks ago. It's way more than that now. It was about a week after the internet went to shit. I uh, played yeah, Age of Empires 2. And then a couple of weeks ago, I played a little bit on my phone internet of the, uh, what's it called, World of Tanks Blitz. But other than that, I've not been on any game or done anything. And there's nothing that, you know, like if I'd gone and played Gran Turismo for a week or two, and then you'd get back onto a game like this and be like, Jesus Christ, everything feels really slow. Or I suppose if it was the other way around, if you normally played Gran Turismo, played this for a week and then went back to that, you'd be like, Jesus Christ, everything's rapid. I've not had any of that, and something just feels a little bit slower with this Zix. Still an extremely good vehicle to go around searching with. Mainly, like I said, the roof rack is a biggie, and then it can fit a loaf on with no issues. Um, it's just a very good vehicle. Like, it doesn't tip very easily as well, which is quite nice, because just either you're taking shortcuts or the usual little, you know, things they do in maps that will try and catch you out and bite you. You're going to experience them um, the first time you're going around. And, uh, yeah. I really didn't fancy... I never, I didn't have to use it tonight, but... Doing the old quit and reload. Probably would have came in handy if I did tip. I just edited that, basically. I was driving along straight. I'd just seen that, where it had a picture of, like, a car on a ramp. It's... Essentially, it looked like how the trophies work on the other games. It says something about co-op. I assume online co-op. I don't know what that means, if that means I have to go online to do that event or if I can just do it on this map like I am now, but it might enter my time into an online co-op 
versus mode, that'll be pretty cool. If they're going to make people go online to do the event, I don't really agree with that because there's a lot of people that either don't have internet or they have very crappy internet and all sorts of stuff. Like I get a bit... When I have to go on the internet as well and go on with other people, I get quite... Um, well, it's sort of like worried that I'm going to be taking other people's time up. So, like, if I go on Grand Theft Auto, I'd rather just go on single player. The multiplayer. Uh, that's probably not the greatest example because I suppose you can kill people on there and all that, and that's kind of hostile in general. But I don't know. I don't. Yeah, the th like making other people wait. If you just like, oh, hang on, I just need to go to the toilet. Oh, I'm just going to make a drink. Or if my cat turns up, I sort of. Yeah, like there's one thing with Call of Duty. Once I'm on it, it's like you can't just put the control down like midway through an online game. Well, you can, but then obviously it's not going to go too well. Uh, so it's quite nice just to be able to do your own thing at your own pace. So I don't know what the crack is with that, if they're going to make us go online or what. Again, it'd be pretty cool if it's just, you know, we race the event, but there's some kind of online leaderboard. I think that'd be cool anyway for all the trophies in every map on every season. And then basically, as you can see, there's a little ramble at the end, but I pretty much just drove... There's a road that drove pretty easily back to the, uh, back to here. That's the square I originally got the mission to collect this car, and then obviously it says drop it off back at the garage, I think, so as soon as I just drive forward a bit and it touches that square. Mission done, is it 420 uh, XP, 4250 money, something like that. Uh, yeah, and the the car didn't vanish because that's it's just mine now. And then now in the garage, it's unlocked and everything. So uh, yeah, I can buy it. I can't buy it here though. I'd have to travel to a Russian map just to be able to buy it. So as of yet, I didn't buy like a bunch of them or anything. And then at some point, I'll just go over the map, kind of what I did tonight. But yeah, I mean that's it. You can sort of see there's certainly this side of it. I'll um I could do with uncovering more. But I thought there's no point tonight because I'm going to tack it onto the end of this video that I'll end up making it almost an hour. And then again, I'm I'm just going to, I don't know, like I'll just r almost rush through everything and then there's like nothing, nothing, uh, not a lot after a couple of weeks. Um, so I started from the garage, went down there, I sent the Defender and cut across to the Watchtower. I tried to send the Defender a little further but gave up. Got back in my Zix and Loaf thing, doubled back on the racetrack cut down, followed this road along to there and then up to here which I was just following blind, I'd put a waypoint on the watchtower looped around there though, got that followed this road down there, over that bridge got to this watchtower, just about there, uh, went this way and again I did this the, twice but I drove uh, that way up to this garage that's where the footage glitched so I drove back I came back on this road which is why there's like a tiny little bit wider where I've gone and then to recapture the footage I just drove back to there uh, yeah that's where I got the car from and then again driving blind but wiggling along these roads sent the goddamn horse up to get the watchtower he also sniffed out a uh, an upgrade and rescued a truck all in a matter of minutes because he's goddamn professional and yeah then back to the garage just to show you look away if you don't want to know but there's an upgrade in that bottom corner and then it was nearby there it was the vehicle I found was the um, the other vehicle again it wouldn't let me collect it or anything so as and when I find it I'll obviously sort of do a video on it and whatnot and um, yeah goddamn professional get yourself a loaf definitely it's a good old time uh, exploring this map with um, some loaves with me and yeah that's about it uh, it's just a quick last few seconds while I'm yapping on at the end of the video uh, with this little vehicle I just like upgraded it and went for a little drive again certainly felt like a lot of fun and all the rest of it's on this sort of terrain on the racetrack it's going fast enough um, but yeah when you hit the usual snow run and boggy areas it's just not gonna go too great with scouts but um, yeah I'll leave it there that's about it for today though uh, I hope you enjoyed I hope that helps thanks for watching though and uh, yeah I'll be back soon